Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to explain why Final Fantasy 16 is not like Devil May Cry 5. So I think when everybody saw this game, when it first came out, like all the previews and stuff, people are like, oh yeah, that's, that looks like Devil May Cry 5. And it plays like it. But after playing it quite extensively, like no lifing it, and I, I've seen most of the systems that the game has to offer, it's it's not really Devil May Cry. Uh, there are similarities, and I think the only similarity really is the style of the some of the skills. You know, they're in the same vein and in the same motion as Devil May Cry. So, for example, you have um, Streak from Devil May Cry, which is your typical gap, gap closer. And, yeah, you know, that looks the same, and it works the same, right? It's a gap closer. <laughs> it's like, I mean, how else is this going to be different? But you have moves like Rook's Gambit. From Gerudo, which is like, um, what is it called in Devil's May Cry? It's called, um, I forget what it's called in Devil's May Cry. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a while since I played it. But, um, and then you have like aerials, like High Roller, and um, like from Devil's May Cry. And, you know, the, they're similar, there's similar ways that the moves operate. So they're, 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 they're the same in that sense. But the big difference between Final Fantasy 16 and Devil May Cry is one simple thing and i don't see a lot of people talking about it. it's the fact that the skills in final fantasy 16 are all on cooldown so in a sense the the gameplay of final fantasy 16 is more akin to uh, final fantasy 14 which is an mmo rpg or like world of warcraft where you have skills that are literally on cooldown you you can't use them so you can't spam them so like Devil May Cry, you can just spam like calibers in midair and like which is one of the strongest moves in Devil May Cry. You can't do that in in, um, in Final Fantasy 16. Like once you use it, it goes on cooldown and you have to wait like a certain amount of time before it comes back on, uh, off cooldown, right? So it's more similar to like an MMO and you know the it, it makes sense because Yoshi P was the director for Final Fantasy 14, right? Which is an MMO RPG and he's the director for final fantasy 16 so it makes sense i'm like there's a i see a lot of inspiration from 14 in 16 like for example you know not just the cooldowns from the skills from the icon abilities but also like the moves that the enemies do uh, a lot of the uh, skills are just you know straight from our straight spells and moves from 14. Uh, a lot of the mechanics that the enemies do like um usually there will be some sort of mechanic that the boss enemies will do that will force you to stay off of them so like you know if you play 14 that's like a chariot right like um you know you can't you literally can't stay close to the boss and like you know if you're trying to play this in like devil may cry then devil may cry you, you kind of want to always just like stay up in the opponent's face you can't do that in 16 because you have to respect the mechanics that the enemies are doing so like the enemy does like a chariot or a aoe mechanic that forces you to uh disengage then you have to use different abilities to address that so you can just do charge spells for example it's one thing you can do to keep damage up time when the enemy forces you to disengage and there's other mechanics too like the uh like uh some of the garuda style bosses like they have like a line aoe's crisscrossing line aoe's and you know that's, that's pretty much like taking straight from final fantasy 14. so uh yeah it's just uh one observation i've been seeing that i i i don't think a lot of people are talking about and I think the, the reason I bring this up is because I think I'm not sure how most of the DMC5 players feel about 16, but um, I, I was sort of under the impression they're sort of frustrated or disappointed with the the, the gameplay combat in 16. And uh, I would just say it's not it's not like Devil May Cry. It's pretty different. Like the fact that you had those cooldowns on most of your icon abilities or literally all of your icon abilities, it, it lends itself more to like an MMORPG with action-based elements, right? You still have to do, you know, do your precision dodges. And, uh, you know, you have damage windows and uh, you have the stagger windows where you can unleash uh, all your abilities and do the most damage. So there, there are elements from that action um, aspect of Devil May Cry. But um, I think if you try to stop thinking of it like Devil May Cry and try to think of it more like its own style of game, then I think you'll have more fun with it. Because like once I started just, um, you know, stopped thinking that it was Devil May Cry. I was like, you know, this is actually kind of like Final Fantasy 14, like the MMORPG style, you know, using skills on cooldown. And 
you know, in the meantime, you know, you're always trying to dodge, get precision dodges and parries and stuff like that. And I, I found I, I was enjoying myself a lot more. So this just an I uh, just just uh, some not really advice, but just maybe uh, if you're having it being a little frustrated by 16, maybe that's a little different perspective on how to approach the game and look at it. So I mean, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.